Hey guys, it's Steiner here again, and welcome back to my video, and today we're back in Need for Speed 2015 for a little bit of a Let's Play. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough through um, Eddie's side of the story, which is going to be about maybe four or five episodes, five episodes at most. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the garage and see what is awaiting for us. Hey man, got a thing coming up. Have you heard of this fella Eddie of the infamous Eastsiders? He used to rule the circuit. Had this killer girlfriend, Melissa, that I used to, uh, well, you know, never mind. That's all ancient history now. So listen, they're setting up this challenge with select racers. Select meaning high enough rep. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Melissa. Your buddy Travis vouched for you, which means you're hot enough to join our show. Look, there's 15 races to knock out the best lineup grid in Ventura to square off with Eddie in one final showdown. You up for it? You need to run our app to track the races. I'll send you the download link. Stay tuned. Alright, well, um, that was interesting. So, we have to win 15 races in order to get to the end of the storyline. So, it's going to be kind of a short storyline. And, okay, we're getting another call from Melissa. Hi, Melissa here again. The challenge app is your key to the when, where, and what. For results posted and details of your next heat. The winners go through. It's as simple as that. First event details are up, so check the app now. Alright, so we have an Eddie's Challenge app, and, alright, so it just shows all of, the, um, all of the races, and then you could show the location on the map. So there we go, we have a new race to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do is jump into this race. Heat 1, Eddie's Challenge is on, and I've got Eddie himself here. Welcome, Eddie. Thanks. So, first heat, first racer, what do you think? They're all toast. Well, yes. Man, Eddie's an asshole. I'm not sure if I really like his tone. So yeah, guys, before we really get deep into this episode, I just wanted to ask you guys, what cars do you want me to build for this Let's Play? Because, I mean, I do have my Subaru BRZ, but I also want something else to drive, and I want you guys to be involved. So um, go ahead and throw me a comment in the comment section, just telling me what car you may want me to drive throughout this Let's Play, and I'll be sure to do it. But yeah, so far, um... I have a pretty comfortable lead, um, all I have to do is not, you know, just crash out, and I, I should be fine. This race is pretty damn easy, hopefully it's not like that for the rest of the races. I heard that some races are just completely impossible, which, you know, I completely doubt. I, I doubt some races are completely impossible, but, I mean, there will be some that are gonna be really hard. So I really can't wait for those because I don't have component parts to test my skill on because people were complaining about it being too hard because they're bad at the game, but I mean, at least we'll have some events that will be close to as hard as performance parts as we cross the line first place with a time of 2 minutes, se 10 seconds. And uh, yeah, so that was the first race. I think I might get a text for, from someone. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm getting a call from Melissa. Alright, so we have another event right here. It's called Sleeper Shootout. It's this sprint race right here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is jump to this race and hopefully we win another one. Alright, so now we're in the second race of the story. Okay, thanks for interrupting me, Melissa. So yeah, we're in the second race of the story and we're going up against a BMW and a Fox Body Mustang. I'm just going to pull ahead because... Yeah, my BRZ is that powerful. But yeah, I have a godlike Porsche. Like, my Porsche is really, really fast. Um, and I didn't want to use it just because I didn't want these races to be way, way too easy. So I decided to hop in my BRZ. I mean, already this car is pretty OP, but it's not as close to as OP as my Porsche is. But the finish line is right up here and across the line with time of 2.01. Again, way too easy. My BRZ needs nerf. So the next race is a time attack. And I'm sure probably just like maybe four of you know what it's time for. Alright, yeah. Okay. That's right, bitches. It's fucking Porsche time. Let's do this shit. So yeah, like I said last race, this is pretty much my master build right here. Is this Porsche. And I mean, o only a few of you will probably get why I just love this thing. And it's because... Well, it's just a fucking monster. And yeah, this route is going to take some time to get used to. And Jesus Christ, please move out of the way. Why does someone else 
have to do the same race as me. At least I used that M2 as a guardrail and shit, that did not help me. Yeah, that was a really shitty lap, but hopefully this time I'll be able to overtake him and yeah, get around him and, and hopefully this time score get a good lap and it's definitely not going to happen when I have to go in a really tight area like, okay. Yep, that's another lap just gone down the drain. Alright, come on, this time, I guarantee you this lap is going to be my, my best lap of this race. Here we go, as long as this person doesn't get in the way, go wide, okay. But yeah, I didn't mean for that to happen, but you know what, at least I got first place. So yeah, I think we're going to do about one more race, and then we'll call it an episode. Alright, so we're going to have a circuit race to end off this episode. So let's go ahead and jump to this one. Alright guys, so now we're in our last event of today, and you know what, screw it, uh, I can't be bothered to go back to the garage and switch back into my BRZ, so I'm just gonna uh, stay in the RWB Porsche for the remainder of this video, obviously, since this is our last race. So after all, I don't think my car is really a master build, because it's still, I still have to do some tweaking to this, despite me having this car for like two weeks, because if you look at cams, that's a proper master build. This one, sometimes it understeers and sometimes it engages drifting when I don't want it to. So that's a little bit of an issue. Like right there, I wanted it to drift and of course it understeers into a fucking van. And, you know, just like that within a snap of the fingers, I'm already in first place. This is just too damn easy. And just around a couple more corners. There we go. That corner is perfect. Around another corner and the finish line is right up here. Again, like I said just way too damn easy so yeah that was our final race of today so if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to leave a like and i will see you guys next time goodbye